Hello and Namaste. This is Jewel from Goddess Creative. Okay, I have a reading for you today. This one is for Hollow Chain. This is an older project. Something in I was I was in a while ago. Um, I don't think I'm in it anymore. I do remember reading it last uh, bull run, and I think it did okay. We're having a little look at it now. I've just done a bit of a meditation and looked at prices. Um, it's going to, I've got some lovely cards for it and I do have some nice prices, but I do get it is initially a bit slow. So the timing for it right now, it's not going to be what, like many of the others that are just popping and running right now. I don't feel that this one will do be doing that. So currently right now, I've got the Three of Pentacles. Sorry, the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is very much the mental energy and it does, it's feeling some absence and removal, some sort of separation. That's what the energy around this project is at the moment. It's some sort of confusion and just disorder. Um, it's, yeah. Well, it's really not feeling the love. It's got three swords through the heart. Um, but it's certainly not feeling that at the moment. It's a bit of a forgotten project, it would seem. This is for the energy right now. This is a yearly reading. So this is for the energy right now, probably in the next six months. So it's not be going to be running up like other ones will. I'm not getting that. It will move. I definitely get that. I have some lovely cards for it. Um, it also has the Hierophant. So this is a no and this is a maybe card. The Hierophant is, um, you know, all about traditional, traditional values, conventional ways, conformity. Um, it is education and knowledge. So it's very structured at the moment. So it's feeling restricted is what I would be saying regarding this particular project right now. And even leading up, like my cutoff time would be third quarter, which would be September. I don't, you know, I get it's getting some moves price wise. Um, yeah, I mean, if you got in, if you got in now at the 0 0.004, you'd be happy. But they're all going to be moving in that timeline. I think there are other ones that would be doing greater multiples than this one in this particular timeline is all I'm saying. I'm not saying it's not going to do well. It is going to do well. But just in this first part, it's going to be slower to take off is what I'm picking up for the energy of this project. Hollow chain, hot. Okay. However, come fourth quarter going into 2025 where I am predicting that the highest time in the market will be um, most likely you know that Christmas New Year and you know early time of next year 2025 I'm getting the Ten of Cups Ten of Cups is just beautiful it is all about you know happiness family reunions coming together it's relationships, security, and stability. It's such a happy um, energy. And why wouldn't they be? Because all this time they've worked hard with the Seven of Pentacles. They've been working hard. It's their hard work is paying off in this time. Okay. And they've had the energy of this Page of Cups, which is all about, you know, the idealism, the youthfulness. It is very much happy news. So in this timeline, this really does herald in the Page of Cups happy news. Yes, I would say this. The Ten of Cups, yes. The reunions, the gatherings, the stability, the security, the relationships, just all rejoicing again. And it is from this seven, also a yes card, this seven of pentacles which is rewards profits payouts results manifestation of 
goals and it is growing gestation and cultivation. It is harvest time in this timeline. So we really do like that. I honestly feel when we look at the year of 2025, so this is the end of the year 2024 into 2025, the year of 2025 heralds in very a lot of success for this program pro, program project a lot of um, financial stability and security it does a herald in prosperity and wealth abundance rewards through hard work collecting on investments and basically just thriving the nine of pentacles is a yes card and it's a thriving card in the year of 2025 so I do see this and sometimes this this so it's going to see some nice prices here it'll get some more growth here but it's feeling more like a more solid stronger project so when we do have a drop time because I have been seeking drop times in the year of 2025 just wondering what each alt will get to and this one's not too bad like it does drop down but um, yeah it's not devastating but yeah that's what I'm getting for that. And carrying on through to the year of 2026, we have the lovely passionate energy of the Knight of Wands, which is adventurous, energetic and charming energy. It's exciting. So it does bring forth in this timeline additional moves up with this Knight of Pentacles here in the year of 2025 going into the 2026 timeline does very much indicate a rise in um, and and not dropping back so not dropping back to what it is now so it's a nice rise in um, decent prices and feeling that um, this knight of wands is is charming energy and it is sort of brave and rebellious, revolutionary. Um, I'm getting that energy with this. And um, it is a little bit um, hasty as well. So it, it, when it moves, it's moving quite fast in the timelines of end of 2024, but 2025, 2025 and 2026. Okay. So that's what I'm getting for this project. It is lovely energy. I really do like that. Remembering it's not financial advice. So, you know, definitely do your own research and due diligence. I'm sorry if you can't see that through my my fluffy um, microphone there. Um, yeah, so obviously do your own research and due diligence before investing in any project. Um, but it certainly does surpass its all-time all high. I do get that um, because it wasn't much. It's all-time high, I don't think. So it's this ball run that it will sort of come into its own. Um, I am getting that. Not necessarily this year, though, with those cards. So remember that. So, you know, perhaps it could be something to think about for maybe investing later in the year, um, taking some gains on some other things. And then investing later in the year for gains going into um, uh, yeah, investing later after third quarter is what I would say. Most gains will come after third quarter. Well, this is what I'm getting anyway. But like I said, um, not financial advice. Do your own research and due diligence before investing in any project. You know I have to say that. And um, yeah, it's, it's nice. We do like the energy of this. Okay, I'm gonna leave this here. Love and appreciation, namaste.